Hello and welcome to today's video where we'll talk about refurbished or pre-owned mobile phones. And I've bought such a phone recently, uh, so did other millions of people around the world. And this is because buying a pre-owned or refurbished mobile phone is uh, most of the time cost-effective and uh, friendly to the environment. And according to the research I've done online, it can save up to 45 kilograms of CO2 emissions and also about 40 kilograms of raw materials. Now, this is a lot, and if true, it will, you know, it will make a difference if a lot of people will do the same. So, coming back to today's video, I will share what I believe to be the most important things uh, I always do when buying a pre-owned mobile phone. And these things are the factory reset, a system update, and then removing any third-party or bloatware software that might be in the phone. And this is not always the case, but uh, sometimes uh, there will be such software in your mobile phone. Okay, so before I start, I will make sure I have enough battery, and I always tend to have more than 85% battery because I don't want uh, the phone to run out of uh, energy while uh, doing a factory reset or system update, you know, it will risk damaging the software and probably the phone will uh, not be able to be, you know, saved after this. So I always make sure I have enough battery or sometimes I just keep it connected, you know, to the adapter so it has uh, enough electricity. And the first thing I will do is the factory reset. Doing a factory reset, I will go into settings. Then I will scroll down. And I'm looking for a menu that says backup and reset. So I select that one. Then I will select factory data reset. And then I will press the reset phone button and it's very important to make sure you don't have any personal information, anything that you don't want to lose because all the accounts, all the photos and videos, everything will be erased when pressing this erase button. And now it is going to erase everything. It will take a bit of time, so I'll just fast forward. I select a new language, English, and now it's time to uh, do a quick setup of the phone. You have to agree, of course, to using personal information and so on. I don't have a SIM card, so I'll skip this part. I would go for a uh, fresh start. I don't want to copy any information, you know, it's a pre-owned mobile phone. I just want to start fresh. And I recommend connecting to a internet network just to have, uh, you know, a system update done at this stage. So this is where I type in the password and I'm connecting to a uh, local internet network. So right now the phone is uh, checking for updates and it will take a bit of time. So let's just fast forward. Of course I can set up a Google account, but I will skip it for now. This is just to show you what the steps are. Okay, I will skip the account. It's always good and of course everybody will have a Google account, but for now, just for testing, you know, this sequence of uh, actions, I'll just skip everything and move forward. Again, you have to name your device. I'll just say this is a test device. But you can put your own name, of course. And protecting your phone, also important. For now, I will not set any password because, again, this is just for testing things out. And considering that all is set, I can move forward. Okay. 
because uh, this is a freshly installed operating system, you know, a clean start, I have to select different options, for example, how I would like to have the home screen, if it's the simple setup or standard and accessibility information. You don't have to spend too much time on this. I just choose the standard that I just move forward. So I finish everything and this is the phone with everything cleaned. The operating system has no personal information. Uh, no additional application is installed, just the way it's you know it came from the factory. And I will uh, do, before anything else, just to make sure I have the latest version of the operating system, I will do a system update. And for this, I scroll down where it says about phone. And then I will select software update. And this is where the phone will search for the latest operating system version that it has available. And in this case, the software is up to date. So there's, there isn't a newer version of Android available for this device. And now is the time to, to delete any, inform any applications which I don't, uh, I don't want. And this is a uh, mobile phone which was issued or you know made available by Vodafone and quite a few apps uh, are Vodafone related. Some people will use them, others will not. In my case I don't want to use any applications which I don't know so I want to make sure I go into the settings again and I will search for apps and as you can see there are 47 apps installed. And I will search for those applications which I can remove, you know, I can delete because I don't know them, I don't use them, I don't want them taking up space in the phone. For example, these accessories, I will just select uninstall. And it's gone. There's another app I don't know. I can just uninstall it. I will not use it. I don't know it. And I will repeat the process, you know, for all the applications which are not interesting to me, which I don't want to uh, have in the phone, taking up space, taking up processor, you know, discharging the battery. I'll just go a bit fast forward over these steps. But I will tell you that those apps that you want to keep, that you want to use, uh, you have to make sure they're up to date. So once you remove the ones you don't want, uh, you take the ones that you want to keep and just make sure you update them to the latest version so you can use them. So right now, I think I've deleted pretty much all of the apps I don't want to use. And this is how the phone behaves, how it moves. It's quite responsive, it's quite fast, even though it's an older phone. So this is what I always do when uh, buying a new mobile phone, a new pre-owned mobile phone. I will do a complete factory reset, I will do a system update, and then I will remove any unwanted or potentially unwanted apps. So thank you for watching, I hope to see you again in other videos. If you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe, you know, it costs you nothing, it makes me happy, so why not? Thank you again and have a very good day. Bye-bye.